What's up everybody, my name's Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Grixis Mutate deck. That's right, Grixis. Not Mardu, not Simic, not uh, Solta, or any of that other stuff, but Grixis. We're going to be making Grixis great again. Anyways, before we go and hop into this deck tech or deck breakdown, I'd like to remind everybody if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like down below and a comment in the comment section, of course, if you have any suggestions on this video, future videos, or past videos. Furthermore, if you're new here and you like the content, consider subscribing and then clicking that bell icon that pops out after the subscribe button is pressed, and then you'll get notifications whenever I go live, or not whenever I go live, sorry. I just, it's, it's worked into my, my habit. Anyways, whenever I post videos or post posts, and if you're looking for whenever we're going live, uh, be sure to drop us a follow over on twitch.tv forward slash Dr. Spilligan. We're live most mornings. Um, some mornings, you know, I take off because everyone deserves a break. But uh, most mornings, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, we go for about two or three hours. So, And generally, we are playing ranked. If not, we're building decks. So hop over there, toss a follow if you enjoy seeing this stuff live. Furthermore, if you're looking for a magic community to link up with and have people talk to about it, you can join our Discord. There's a link down below in the description, and of course, everyone's welcome, and uh, yeah, feel free to join. Now, on to what we're actually playing here today. We have, uh, uh, we have a pile. We have a pile of cards. <laughs> no, um, I was actually just looking at this and realizing this card, or this deck, is fairly budget-friendly as well. You'll notice that we actually have a whole lot of uncommons, commons, and the only uh, rare cards we actually have is the Iron Crag, Power Master, and the Sea Dasher Octopus. And honestly, you don't really need... Well, that's a little weird. Honestly, you don't really need the Iron Crag... Well, I just want you over here. There we go. You don't really need the Iron Crag, Power Master. I do recommend the Sea Dasher Octopus, as it's, uh, it's mutate for one is just insane, right? You add the baby Godzilla, and it reduces the mutate cost. Anyways, the whole idea behind this deck, or the whole reason that I got the inspiration for this deck, was the Vampire of the Dire Moon plus the Porky Parrot, right? Had somebody play this against me, and it was just absolutely devastating. Now, the combo works by you getting down the Vampire of the Dire Moon, or just the Death Touch creature in general, like Thalamere Knight as well, and then you mutate the Porky Parrot onto them. What's the marvelous thing about this is whenever you go to tap and deal X damage to any target, or where X is the number of times this creature mutated, blah, 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 you only need to deal one damage with a death touch creature in order to take out an entire creature, right? So the kind of cool thing is you can just tap the Porky Parrot with the Vampire of the Dire Moon or with the Thalmer Knight, and it basically applies the death touch to whatever you decide to shoot your one damage at, right? So turn three, you get a death touch, basically instant kill on whatever, whatever creature your opponent may have on the board. Um, Baby Godzilla is going to make it to where all of your mutate creatures plus the mutate cost of the creatures cost less. So really, really awesome here. And this is kind of the reason why I have Iron Crag Power Master in the deck, right? Because it also reads whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card, then discard a card. So a lot of times on your turns, you're drawing and discarding, which is really good for Iron Crag Power Master. We do have one copy of Negate because I didn't want to get board wiped because... And that, that always feels bad, you know? One copy of Negate, three, two copies, I uh, almost said three, two copies of Mystical Dispute, and three, you know, counters total. I feel like it's perfectly fine, and it's good to keep you out of murky waters, right? Now, Sea Dash Octopus, I already kind of talked about this. Mutating it down for one, one single mana is really the key here, and being able to flash it in, so you can actually get these mutate procs off um, at instant speed, right? And then we have Insatiable Hemophage, the other part that I was like equally excited about as the Porky Parrot, right? This one reads, whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Now that doesn't sound that great, but in all reality, it's really, really easy to get this to go off and to double proc it, right? So if you can mutate an Insatiable Hemophage onto the same creature that you've already mutated with Porky Parrot, that's immediately going to be two... Uh, Two damage dealt, two life gain, and then the Porky Parrot also gets to tap to deal two extra damage and gain two extra life if you have it on the Vampire of the Dire Moon, right? Now let's say you have two Insatiable Hemophages on something. Every time you mutate, you're going to be getting this effect times the number of times you mutated times two, right? Because you have two Insatiable Hemophages. So if you put it on a creature that's already mutated three times and you slap another one on there, it's going to have mutated four times, four times two, eight damage, you're dealing 8 damage, and you're healing 8 health, which feels very, very similar to uh, the card we literally just played yesterday, um, the Grey Merchant of Asvidal, right? Just a huge, enter the board, huge damage difference, right? Because you're not just dealing the damage, you're also gaining that much damage back as life. So, Sacial Hemophage, actually really insane, great against aggro matchups, great at keeping you alive in general, uh, just a really fun and awesome card. 
Dreamtail Heron, and I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, just great at drawing you more cards. And again, this works well with the Power Mancer. It works well at getting you through the rest of your deck. You know, making sure you hit your land drops, all that good stuff. And then we have one copy of Chittering Harvester because sometimes your opponent gets up to having way, way too many creatures. And this is a great way of actually thinning their numbers very, very quickly, right? So you throw this on something, then you see dash your octopus for one mana, make your opponent sacrifice creatures, make your opponent or allow you to draw cards, deal damage, gain life. So this is why C Dasher I say is actually kind of important. Because one mana to proc any of these three is very, very, very much worth it, right? One mana draw a card and you're also getting to mutate something down onto it while increasing the amount of damage and life you gain. It just seems fantastic. So all that being said, and out of the way, I'm sorry that was a bit of a longer deck tech or deck breakdown, but there is kind of a lot in this deck. Um, but it's very fun. It's very, very fun. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into our magics without further ado. Alrighty. <sighs> Feels good to already be in platinum and still have like 20 days left in the season. Normally, whenever I get into platinum, it's like... Three days left, two days, four hours. <laughs> so this will be this will be good. Boom, baby Godzilla, bitch. Playing mono red. Psht. Robber of the rich. Heard, heard. Just swinging in with the robber. We are gonna block that. So we can actually get this hair on down if we want to. I think I do. I think I do want to. We're actually gonna get rid of one of the Godzillas here. And we're gonna put the hair on over. And no swing ends. Mystical Dispute, I don't think it'll be super great in this matchup, seeing as how our opponent is playing Mono Red, but that's okay. Phoenix of Ash. No attacks from our opponent, that is fantastic. Alrighty. So this costs two, and this costs two. So we can actually mutate both of them, right? Alright, so then what we want to do is mutate this one and we'll draw a card of course with Dreamtail Heron another Hemp Phage. Alright so let's get rid of the Mystical Dispute and I guess it doesn't matter whether it's over or under in this situation Vampire of the Dire Moon is fantastic too bad our Porky Parrot isn't on that but that's okay and I think we do go ahead and mutate this onto here as well C dash or octopus. Um, <clears throat> it's a cheap mutate. I think I'm gonna actually get rid of the vampire since it's coming in a little late, and we want that under. It doesn't have as much life. So, dealing three, gaining, and this thing is mutated what three times now, so we can tap it and take out something. But I think we're gonna leave that for their turn, right? So skip back to their turn. Now we can defend with it, tap it, kill robber. Right? Fervent. You have to be careful about the number of attackers or the number of creatures they have in general because, of course, they can get down Ember Cleave for super cheap and then we're just sort of boned. They're swinging all in. That's not a good sign for us. But we do have Insatiable Hemophage, so we can at least gain some life, right? And if we can get down our second one onto it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So do we block here? If we do... Alright, let's see. They're just going all in. So then we're fine to tap, kill, submit. That kills that, we kill that, take one. Alright. And then we get down Insatiable Hemophage and we heal a crap ton. <laughs> um, so obviously we want to reserve two mana for this. This costs one to mutate, right? And this costs 
three to mutate. So we can mutate this plus this or this plus this. I say we go for the Dreamtail Heron. Drawing more cards seems good. Alright, so. Mutate for three. No, why would you mutate like that? <laughs> Mutate for three here. Another Porky Parrot. I'm actually. No! Sh sure, sir, sure, sure, Trey. Not quite sure how to say that. Anyways, they're just gonna scoop it out. They didn't even let our pl let us play our second uh, Insatiable Hemophage. But uh, yeah, Grixis Mutate, picking up its first victory there. Alright, it, it's okay. It's alright. Wood down Vampire of the Dire Moon, try to mutate onto it. Oh boy. That was nice though. That was actually really fun. <laughs> Alright, so Vampire of the Dire Moon. If we could draw into a Porky Parrot, that would be great as well. So obviously Porky Parrot plus Vampire of the Dire Moon is sort of the whole thing that we're we're revolving this around here not even gonna lie I kinda wanna just get down the foul mirror night leave one mana for a mystical dispute but at the same time I'm a little worried so we'll leave mana for negate as well All right, I think on this turn, we're paying two. We're not mutating. We're playing Vampire. Keeping mana for Mystical plus Negate. Our opponent's obviously heavy and blue, so probably a lot of Counterspell slash Flash, right? Would we rather negate this or mystical dispute it? I think just negate, honestly. You know, mana efficiency and whatnot. Alright, so we got rid of a borrower. Opponent's at three mana. Ooh, beautiful. I was actually really hoping we hit mana here. Alright, so we mutate and have mana for dispute. This will deal one, and then we can swing in for four. Alright, so there's one damage, and then we swing in for the four. We're also gaining four life, so they're down to 13, we're up to 23. I think we can pay for the Falmir now and draw a card, and then play Falmir. Pretty much out of options besides that, right? You leave that card alone! Or not. Alright, so besides the unsummon, they probably have a sinister. Alright, so we're going for the Falmir lose one life draw card. Right off the bat. If they want a sinister, fine by me. We'll get down the Vampire of the Dire Moon again. Hypnotic Sprite. Same same difference in my book. So enter that tap, play another vampire, and swing in for the one. It feels okay. We haven't we haven't really played against the top tier deck. I mean, mono red is top tier. We did we did pretty good there. All right, go for a card draw. I know if we do this, it means we can't play Insatiable Hemophage, but yeah, they're they're leaving the mana so obviously for the counters. It's, it's not even funny, not even a little funny. They're obviously going to take a trade here. We can go down to eleven. We're up to 26. We're down to three cards. Two cards. One card. <laughs> no. Vampire of the Dire Moon, does it get countered? We shall see. It does not. We're not playing the Insatiable Hem page. We're not doing it. Can't can't convince me that that's a good play when I'm pretty sure they only have counter. <laughs> Hypnotic Sprite. They're just playing it down at this point. They're, they're getting scared. 
All right, I want to try to get a hair on down. Um, I want to try to get a hair on down now, actually. So let's see it. Counter my spell, oh mighty blue player. <laughs> Sinister. We're working them. We're working them, little by little, taking them down. I, I didn't see. Did they? They didn't dumpster or whatever card that was. So they obviously wanted it. Opt. <laughs> Trying to bring mono blue back. I can respect that. Have hope. You have hope that mono blue isn't garbage. And again, I respect that. I don't agree, but I respect it. Let's see. Do they have the counter magic? It doesn't appear so. So we're going all in on this then. That'll be all the. Two damage and then another three takes him down to four. We're gonna draw a card, C Dasher. All right, so we have lethal. <laughs> that feels fantastic. That puts it on top of their library, but it doesn't give it to him, so that's GG. Let's see. Uh, under. Boom and boom. Wow. Grixis mutate two O. <laughs> Yeah, baby. App, app fee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, <clears throat> this is uh, interesting. I wish we had some some red mana so I'd feel a little bit better about that Porky Parrot. But this is still good. We can go Vampire into Baby Godzilla. <laughs> that sentence. That sentence, though. All right, Vampire of the Dire Moon, go, go, go. I don't know why, but the song Sound of Silence has been stuck in my head here recently. Somebody was uh, playing it at work the other night, and ever since then, it's just right there. Not exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's a little shy of red mana, but uh, you know, Baby Godzilla still makes a stomp when it comes down. So I, I'm, I'm happy. I am happy. Our planet, uh, our, our, our planet, <laughs> our opponent is playing, uh, playing Bond. How do I feel about that? Do I want to go for the Dreamtail Heron? I think so. If they're playing, if they're playing Counter Magic, let them play Counter Magic. You know, Essence Scatter. It happens. It happens, and we move on. Another Porky Parrot. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I want the Porky Parrots. I really do. But I, I need the red mana to make them happen. So until we get that, eh, we're, we're sort of up the creek without a paddle. You know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything I wanted in life and so much more. So Porky Parrot coming down on our vampire and we hit another land. Do I want the land? No. Not over what I have there. You know, I have a vampire plus a mystical dispute. That's just uh that's just beautiful. So we don't need the Porky Parrot to be tapping and dealing damage right now. That's for later. Um but you know gaining life is still nice. Gaining life is still nice. Opponent's going up to four mana. We do have the Mystical Dispute. I wonder what they're playing, because they're not playing a Yorian Bont deck, which is, you know, the the go-to. Oh, it's... A... <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, Mystical. Damn you, Mystical Dispute. Damn you. All right. So we Insatiable, Hammer Vage, onto the Porky Parrot. You're gonna make me choose like this game. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a counter magic player. Damn it! I stand by that. <sighs> so what are we drawing to discard here? <laughs> du, 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 du. Chittering harvester. Good game. Good game. Do we have it? Do we have it here? That's going to deal three. We deal... No, we don't have it. Why are you saying good game? That's only five. 
Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, because they go down to three after we deal with three. <laughs> Grixis Mutate. Is it, is it that good, though? Ray, Rayono. Ray, Rayon? Oh, I don't know. Um, this is... This is unkeepable. All right, this is this is so much better. I'm so <laughs> I'm so glad that I decided to swap that around. All right, so one, two, and then we can play three on that. I do like the Sea Dasher, but would I rather have a Dreamtail Hair on? I think so. I think so. I feel bad. Don't get me wrong for for bottoming that, but you do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. <clears throat> All right. Swift, Swift Water Cliffs coming down for our, oh yes, give me give me that untapped land. I love me some untapped land. I tell y'all, don't get me wrong, the shock lands are fun. They're great, great magic. But uh, good old hey, fire prophecy is not <laughs> not allowed here, sir or madam. I don't. What, what is your name? Rayono. Ray. I don't. Know. I'm done. Okay. I'm done trying to pronounce your name, but it's not fun. Don't fire prophecy my stuff. I'm not a not a fan. Ooh, now you're making it to where I can't even use my Dreamtail hair on efficiently. You son of a bitch! This deck, this Yorian deck, was built against our Grixis mutate deck. That's not actually true. Luca. <clears throat> so we could still actually, yeah. You know what? Fuck your Narset. I don't care about drawing the card. I do want your Narset gone though, so we'll gain three life, take out Narset. It's good enough. Should I be going for face? Probably. Probably. Teferi? Teferi's gonna bounce our dream tail plus uh what's it called? Plus the little one. Vampire. That's the card I was looking for. We get another vampire. Uh shocky shocky. I go vampire. Do I go double vampire? Or do I go vampire dream tail draw card? Double Vampire. It's harder to remove two targets than it is to remove one. Sorry. Smack the mic a little bit. I can't help it. I'm just getting so angry. <laughs> so our opponent's going to get down the wall on their next turn and then follow that up with a Luka to an agent, right? I've got it. That's pretty much what we can, we can all expect to see here. So we mutate onto you. Over, of course. Over and over and over and over. And mutate onto you. Now the, the awkward thing about this whole thing, this whole situation, is we need the Seed Asher to go here to actually draw us a card. So Dreamtail, you take out to Fairy, and then Seed Asher, you go to the face. Blood crit. Alright. So Dreamtail is getting stolen. Right? They take out the wall, they get the agent, they take out Dreamtail, which is really, really unfortunate, I gotta say. <laughs> That's not an agent of treachery, <laughs> you silly goose. Oh, look at them, playing an end race, thinking it's... <laughs> no, wrong, wrong thing. I think we do actually want to activate this Fable Passage, because if I draw a basic land and I didn't play my Passage, I will be furious. Uh, we probably should have grabbed blue there, now that I think about it. Um, Dreamtail, you actually got to do your thing over on the Luka, because <laughs> the Silly Goose over there drew an end raise. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so they're taking out our our dream tail, our Heron. I gotta say, I'm not happy about it. Not happy. Dun, 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 dun. But we did finally find a deck that could sort of deal with what we have. Granted, I think that <laughs> Luca is much better with an agent. Our opponent may not have an agent, so. Just something uh, we gotta sort of. Oh no, game! Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> All right. So uh, 
Uh, we're rolling the dice. Rolling the dice. We have 11 lands left in our deck, so only 23% chance of drawing that. Let's see if they can hit a... Okay. Well, I mean, that does work. Sorta. <laughs> Except for when your your creatures come in summoning sickness, and then and then of course it doesn't work. But I do think we lose this game. Um, God, it's not even not even that great of a Yorian deck. But we got flooded. Maybe I shouldn't have swung in with that Sea Dasher when I did. But oh, I got another Iron Craig. All right, GG, GG Yorian, you got me. You got us. I gotta I gotta be honest. You. I don't think you're playing the optimum version, but if you don't have agent, maybe maybe in rays is the the next best thing. I say that with a lot of hesitation because I don't I don't know if that's actually true. Um, I haven't I haven't played much of the Orion, though I have watched uh, a decent decent little chunk of it. So, anyways, that is going to wrap up our Grixis Mutate deck. That was that was a fun deck, um, and and to see it win three straight. <laughs> to see it win three straight games in platinum, uh, I gotta say I'm kind of proud. Kind of proud of my little baby Grixis Mutate uh, deck there.